Hi everyone. We are going to do a play that will teach you to not always listen to what people say and that you shouldn't be afraid because fear shouldn't be the thing that drives you away. This play is called A Caterpillar's Voice and is a children's tale from Kenya, Africa. Once upon a time, there was a hare. An animal similar to a rabbit named Hare. He goes out for a walk in the forest and left his home a spacious hollow tree. Little did he know that a sneaky little creature would take over his home. It's a very nice sunny afternoon. I think I'll take this roll outside. Aha! Uh -huh. It's time to get myself a new home. Wow, this is really awesome. Awesome. It makes a voice echoes, which makes it scary and tough. I like it. Echo, echo. <laughs> After Hare took his nice peaceful walk, he came back finding something not so peaceful. What a wonderful walk that was. He goes back to his tree, noticing that there are tracks leading into his home. Which intruder has rudely stepped into my house? Is I, yes, I who crushes right also are that trample elephants into dust. Oh no, if he's the one who crushes rhino stars and tramples elephants into dust, then I shouldn't go anywhere near. I better go get my friend Jackal. Hare hurried to Jackal's house as quick as he could to tell him about this monster. Well, hello there, my furry friend. Is it nice to see you hop by? Ha! Did you spot my pun? Hop by and your hair who hops. Get it? Get it? You, you usually don't come by. What brings you here? Jackal, there's a monster in my house. You were the closest that lived by, and I came here as quick as I could if you could, to ask if you could help me. Monsters, huh? Monsters don't even exist. Jackal, there's a monster in my house. Will you help me or not? Don't worry, let's go defeat that monster. Okay, make sure you be very quiet, otherwise you'll... Who's there? Are you back with a friend now? I don't think you'll still like to step foot in your tree, because it's I. Yes, I will crush this right also of that travel elephant into dust. Oh, I just remember that, uh, I feel sick. Um, oh, my stomach hurts. Looks like I can't help you anymore. Oh, you're not going anywhere. You're coming with me to find someone else who can actually help me. After a few moments, Hare and Jackal searched and searched to see who could help them. And there, tending her garden, was Leopard. What is it, my friends? Why are you panting? Why did you hurry to your sofa? Stop panting and speak to me! There's a monster at my house. Monster? What kind of monster? Was it big? Was it hairy? What did it smell like? I don't know. I didn't dare to take a step in. I asked Jackal to help, but he's too scared. Yes, I shall be the one who saved your life. You can thank me later. <laughs> and Leopard, why are you taking your garbage for me? So I could defend myself with it, and once I kill it, I will freeze on it. I mean, you. Defend you. Your home. Us. Yeah. <laughs> so Hare, Jackal, and Leopard went back to Hare's tree to see if Leopard could really take on the monster. Who is in the home of my fluffy friend? He's asked me, the one and only, amazing, awesome, awe-inspiring, breathtaking, wonderful. Never cut to the chase and don't call me fluffy. Anyways, before I was so rudely interrupted, Hare says you're a monster, I suppose? Well, then I'm here to get you out of my friend's home, out and for good. Who are you, really? It is I, yes, I who crushes rhinos to the earth and trample elephants into dust. If he can crush rhinos to the earth and trample over elephants, then I am surely, surely doomed. Wait, Leopard, don't you want to come and defeat the monster who's waiting to take over my house? Looks like Leopard isn't amazing, awesome, awe-inspiring, etc. anymore. After all that happened, all that happened, Hare, Jackal, and Leopard had to go find another friend that could help them. Rhino, SOS, there's a monster in my house. What? Oh, why are you all so panic? Is there anything wrong? Yes, apparently there's a monster in my house. Oh, it's okay, I'll scare it away. <laughs> <laughs> Who's in there? Is I, yes, I will crush his right, oh, so and then trample elephants in the dark. Ah! Hey Rattle, do you mind if I go into your back? Okay. 
all four of them thought that the next biggest animal that could definitely scare the monster away had to be the elephant. So they went to find the elephant for help and tell her what was going on. Oh my my, I'm not helping you. I've heard all of you screaming one after the other and it's probably because of this. So I'm not gonna risk your life. I'm not gonna risk my life for your house. I'm sorry. Fine, but I can tell by the looks on your face you still wanna come and see who the monster is, don't you? Hee <laughs> hee, yeah. <laughs> Soon, Frog was walking by and... Frog, please come quick! Ribbit, is anything wrong? There's a monster in my house. Once Frog heard this, he immediately started hopping in the direction of Hare's house, and the rest of them followed right behind him. Anyone in there? It is I, yes, I who crushes riddles to the earth and trample elephants into dust. Well, I am the one that destroys the one that crushes rhinos to the earth and tramples elephants into dust. As the shadow of the frog neared the hollow tree, the creature thought, after all, I'm only a caterpillar, and he went out of the hollow den. Only a caterpillar? I will never do a stay in that tree. It has an echo far too refined for a creature like me. <laughs> While we were dumb, even hair could have squashed her. I can't believe that I am amazing, awesome, awe-inspiring, breathtaking, wonderful. Get on the Anyways, I can't believe I was scared of a caterpillar. And also, if this goes to any of the other animals, exclude me from the story. Yeah, this definitely won't get to the other animals. <laughs> so, as you just saw, those two little animals were afraid of nothing. Hey! Sorry. Anyway, everyone, be courageous. And even if you don't want to be, try new things. Be witty and never be afraid. <laughs>